now let us discuss here about bidirectional shift resistor a shift resistor which is capable of shifting data in both directions is called as bidirectional shift resistor here m m means mode control bit the mode control bit controls this circuit this is the diagram for a bidirectional shift resistor if mode control bit is 1 then this circuit will perform shift right operation shift right operation so shift right operation means the contents of the resistor will be shifted one position towards the right whereas if mode control bit is 0 then the circuit will perform shift to left operation so till now we have seen shift to right operation only in every shift resistor like siso sipo pipo piso we have seen only shift to right operation but in this circuit uh, we will discuss about uh, shift to left operation also shift to left means the contents of the resistor will be shifted one position to the left so let us uh, Uh, see the circuit now so this is the diagram for uh, a 4 bit bidirectional shift resistor so the resistor contains uh, four flip flops uh, here we have taken uh, d flip flop we know that uh, d stands for data so we can store some data with the help of the d flip flop here the inputs are d0 d1 d2 d3 whereas outputs of the flip flop are q0 q1 q2 q3 here we have a clock pulse so this is nothing but clock pulse a clock pulse must be applied on all the flip flops and this input is clear input this circle this input is clear input so this clear input is useful in order to clear the flip flops after performing the shift right operation the circuit will contain some data so in order to clear the flip flops we can use the clear input now let first uh, let us perform the shift right operation uh, for the shift right operation m value is 1 so this is m so this line represents complemented line so here we have uh, not gate not this is nothing but uh, negation gate so this the top line represents complemented line whereas this line represents direct line so this is the actual line direct line whereas this is the complemented line so here we have taken and gates so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so totally we have taken eight and gates just like uh, piso and this is nothing but or gate or gate accept input from the and gates so here we have or gate it is accepting input from the and gates in order to perform the shift right operation we are using uh, odd number and gates so odd number and gates are 1 3 5 7 so with the help of uh, odd number and gates we are performing the shift right operation whereas with the help of the even numbered and gates we are performing the shift left operation uh, yeah here what is the mode control input so m value is m value is 1 so first let us perform the shift right operation so what is m value m value is 1 so if m is 1 then this line represents 0 uh, so this is nothing but complemented line so this line represents 0 so this line represents 0 this line represents 0 this line represents 0 so this is and operator so 0 into anything is nothing but uh, the zero only here we have and operator so what is and operator if we perform and operation on zero and anything then we will get the zero as the result so here the result of this uh, and gate is zero the result is and gate is zero the result of this and gate is zero zero next let us perform the shift right operation so here what is the input mode value is 1 so the first and gate is accepting input from the actual line actual line as well as third and gate fifth and gate seventh and gates or accepting the input from the actual line so now we are focusing on shift right operation so here what is the input here here one is the input one is the input one is the input one is the input 
Uh, let us assume that uh, register contains 4 bits. Uh, let the bits are 1010, 1010. So here this is nothing but most significant bit. This is nothing but least significant bit. Uh, here uh, it is like uh, serial output only. We know about uh, serial output operation. What is serial output operation? The output of one flip flop will be supplied as input to the next flip flop. So totally 4 clock pulses are required for loading data in the register and 3 clock pulses are required for shifting the data. So this is nothing but uh, serial in serial output only. So here what is the least significant bit? First we have to apply 0 as the least. First we need to apply this least significant bit as the serial input. Here for the shift right operation, DR is the serial input. Whereas for shift left operation, DL is the serial input. So here DR is the serial input. Here first we need to apply the this least significant bit. So what is the least significant bit? 0 is the least significant bit. So under operation on 0 and 1 is nothing but 0. Next 0 or 0 is nothing but 0. So now what will happen? This 0 will be passed as input to the first flip flop. So this flip flop will contain 0. Next, next, what is the next bit? 1. So next serial input will become 1. So what is the under operation on 1 and 1? So and on 1 and me, 1 means 1. Next, R operator on 1 and 0 means 1. R operator on, on 1 and 0 means 1. So now what will happen? So here what is the uh, content of the flip flop? 0. So this 0 here this is nothing but serial output. The output of one flip flop will be connected as input to the next flip flop. So for that purpose we have taken the circuit. So here what is the output here? 0. So this 0 will be passed as input to the third end gate. So what is the under operator on 0 and 1? 0. So what is the R on 0 and 0? So 0. So out output of R gate is 0. So now this 0 will be passed as the input here. Now this 0 will be stored here. Next what will happen? Here what is the output of the R gate? 1. So this 1 will be passed as input to this flip flop. So after 2 clock pulses we got 0 and 1. Next let us apply one more clock pulse. So what is the next clock? Uh, what is the next serial input? 0 is the input. So next serial input is 0. So 0 into 1 means 0. 0 into 1 means 0. 0 or 0 means 0. 0 or 0 means 0. So now what will happen? So output of the second flip flop, this flip flop, will be connected as input to this flip flop. So for that, here what is the content of this flip flop? 0. So this 0 will be passed as, if you see here, output of one flip flop will be connected as input to the next, this odd numbered R gate, odd number and gate. Why? Because in order to perform the shift right operation, which AND gates we are using? We are using odd numbered AND gate. Here odd number AND gate is accepting input from actual line as well as output of its previous flip flop. So here what is the output of this flip flop? Q2. So this Q2 will be passed as input to the odd number AND gate. So here what is the output? 0. So this it will be passed here. So 0 into 1 means 0. 0 or 0 means 0. So this 0 will be stored here. This 0 will be stored here. Next what will happen? This 1, this 1 will be stored here. So let's see how we can do that. So here what is the, what is this flip flop content 1? So this 1 will be stored here. So what is the under operation on 1 and 1? 1. R operation on 1 and 0? 1. So now this uh, 1 will be passed as the input. So here it is just like serial input, serial output. So how many clock pulses are required for loading data in, into the register? Four clock pulses are required. After the fourth clock pulse, here this one contain, this flip flop contains one, this flip flop contains zero, this flip flop will contain one, this flip flop will contain zero. So at the fourth clock pulse, we will get this last bit. So if you want to get these three bits also, then we need to apply three more clock pulses. We need to apply three more clock pulses. So this one will be shifted here. This zero will be shifted here. This one will be shifted here. Here serial input input is zero. Okay. So let the content is like this one zero one zero. Now what will happen? So this one will be shifted here. This zero will be shifted here. This one will be shifted here. Here the serial input will become zero. 
so that is nothing but fifth clock pulse so next this next what will happen the zero is going to be discarded next the zero will be shifted here next this one will be shifted here next this zero will be shifted so like here the input will become zero we know that if you perform the shift rate operation the rightmost bit will be discarded so in this way we can perform shift right operation now let us see about shift left operation so in order to perform the shift left operation mode control in bit is zero so here what is m value m value is zero if m is zero then what will happen this line this actual line will become zero whereas this line will becomes zero bar zero bar is nothing but one so if we see here uh, first and gate third and gate fifth and gate and seventh and gate is receiving zero as the input is receiving zero as the input first and gate third and gate fifth and gate seventh and gate is receiving zero as the input zero into anything is nothing but zero only so output of the first and gate third and gate fifth and gate and seventh and gate is zero now let us perform the shift left operation for the shift left operation this is the serial input this real is the serial input okay uh, here m value is zero so this line represents one this line represents one so here even number and gates such as two next to four next six and the next one is eight so those and gates are receiving one next if you see here one zero one zero so what is lsb zero so initially the serial input will become zero so what is zero into one zero into one is nothing but zero so zero or zero means zero zero or zero means zero so that zero will be stored here next let us apply the second clock pulse so here what is the input one is the input so now the input is one now the input is one so now what will happen is this input output of this flip flop will be passed as input to the flip flop output of this flip flop will be connected as input to this flip flop so here output of this flip flop is q not so we are passing q not as input to the this even number and gate here for, for what purpose we are using the even number and gates for performing the shift left operation so this even numbered and gates 642 receiving input from the mode control bit as well as output of its previous flip flop so here uh, here uh, here the mode control bit is one uh, next uh, zero complement is nothing but one only next here what is the information here zero so this zero will be passed as input here so and gate on one and zero means zero so zero or zero means zero so now what will happen here zero will be stored so this zero will be passed as input to this flip flop next here what is the serial input one is the serial input so one into zero one into i'm sorry one into what is the mode control bit here one so one into one means one so one or zero means one or zero means one now here one will be stored so after the two clock pulses zero is stored one is stored now let us apply one more clock pulse for uh, for the clarity so next one is next serial input is zero so next here we have zero here so now what will happen output of this flip flop will be connected as input to this flip flop what is the output of this flip flop q1 what is q1 zero so here this zero q1 means zero so this zero will be passed as input to the so here uh, uh, input to the the zero will be passed as input to the this gate if you see here sixth and gate is receiving input from this flip flop fourth and gate is receiving input from this flip flop second and gate is receiving input from this flip flop okay so here if you take the fourth and gate here what is the output here zero is the output here so here we are passing that information here so here zero so one into zero one and zero means zero zero into zero means zero and zero means zero so this zero will be stored here this zero will be stored here next here what is the content here what is the content one is the content so now what will happen if you perform the clock pulse so this one will be passed as input to this flip flop now uh, this and gate so now this and gate sixth and gate is accepting mode bit one as well as this bit one so one and one means one next one zero means r operation one so one will be stored here so here we got one so next what is the input zero 
So zero and one means zero. Next zero or zero means zero. So this zero will be stored here. So here the point is very very simple. Here the register contains four bits. So how many clock pulses are required for loading the data in the register? Four clock pulses are required. Next, how many clock pulses are required for getting the output? Three clock pulses are required. So here the point is very very simple. It is just like serial output. We know about what is serial output. Uh, they, we have seen in serial in serial output as well as parallel in serial output also. Serial output means output of one flip flop will be connected as input to the next flip flop. So here output of this flip flop is connected as input to this flip flop with the help of the third AND gate. So output of this flip flop is connected as input to this flip flop with the help of the fifth AND gate. So this is about bidirectional shift register. We can perform both shift right operation, shift left operation with the help of only one circuit.